In this film we're looking at the next stage in an artboard usage as far as being able to rearrange and uh, export it as well and things ready. So we've been beginning off uh, the kind of the artboard series on just going up into file new and then creating a designated size that you wish but making sure that you click on the artboard sign to the side here which then automatically will create it in exactly the size that you want and then it allows us to uh, basically du uh, duplicate different pay uh, pages of a multi-document like a brochure and so on. As I explained in the first film it's what we use now uh, when working with the graphic designers if they're handing it across to photographers whereas we need to ensure that we're sharing the likes of documents that they can actually update themselves and so on. So, um, in the first film we created this basic um, kind of layout and we're looking to kind of finalize it now and the things probably you'll be doing quite a lot. So, uh, if we can see here to begin with, we've got a, a mixture of images, we've got the artboards, we haven't named them as you can see, they've just actually kept their own names, some duplication, some not. Um, but what we're looking to do is to obviously kind of correct it before we finish it. So the first thing would be, I would say, there's a duplication of images on artboard 5 and the artboard 1, which which is the front cover. So straight away I may as well actually just delete that uh, image by selecting it, grabbing another image and all I'm working is with a folder off screen that I'm literally just dragging images on to. As I drag it on of course the bounding boxes of the place image comes into place and that image is in an auto, uh, sorry a smart object at this point so uh, if I know it's at a designated size I'm going to recreate this board using different things in the future. I don't need to drag and drop I can just actually right click on the layer and then replace contents like we've discussed past films. So uh, again there's another image here that is wrong so uh, let's just delete it. Now I've got the auto select layer clicked, the checkbox I should say. Um, I'm in the move tool which is a shortcut V and obviously this is where the artboard tool also exists as well but we're still moving, uh, we're working with the move tool for now and I've got the auto select tool so as I basically click through the different um, boards it's instantly going to them. Now you can see here that it kind of opens up the board as we go and if we need to, to collapse all these, if it's getting a little bit messy or you're working with a huge document, just go to the little hamburger on the top of the layers palette and then go collapse all groups and then it make it a little bit more kind of easier to see what you're working with. Right, so I need to still replace this image, so the auto select layer was on, automatically selects that image, I'm hitting the delete key and then I'm just going to go and actually select another image and kind of uh, drag it in, change its size once more and that's pretty much done. So you're going to want to um, move uh, the likes of uh, these in reordering them like uh, we've got the boys to men so it would make sense that we've got images uh, together that would be about the boys to men before we move into the series of the girls to women. So in this case um, if I've got the auto select layer on at this point it will actually uh, select the image and not the actual group. So I'd recommend that you actually click the auto select layer off and grab the artboard that you so wish to use and uh, remember if you want to uh, you can uh, click on the shift key which will select multiple um, artboards at the same time and then we can move them to a new position as it were. So in, in this case um, all I'm going to do now is still pick up the move the move tool move the girls so I'm just gonna shift key onto these and then basically move them up together okay so we've moved the girls let's just move this one closer to the uh, girls now obviously because they're all selected still we'd need to actually go ahead and actually just select one of a, diff a different board or by clicking up onto the art board here uh, we can actually just kind of click it over. Now you can see there's auto alignment going on as guides coming in uh, but we don't have to worry about that yet. What we're going to do is basically move each of these into the right place into the order that we want them to be and then just to make it nice and quick for the realignment once more if we're just selecting all of these layers by shift click in and then at this point at the top of the uh, panel here you can see that we can first of all uh, click on the align top 
edges and then if we come across another three we can see we've got the distribute the horizontal so that actually spaces them all out correctly so in the same way you can go ahead and um, let's uh, click onto artboard 5 for a minute and let's say we wanted to actually increase another one and you didn't want to actually kind of start moving it at the end you could just click onto an art artboard here uh, in the same same way go and grab another image drop it in there resize and you could actually start to plan it so this is quite good even if you're looking at doing wedding album design through it uh, um, as well then all I've got to do is actually decide where I want this to be within the um, series of the ARP artboards so if I just kind of click it into here and then I select all of those uh, boards once more go and click into the alignment distribute again and it will make uh, uh, the alignment all kind of spaced out so once that's pretty much done um, obviously save 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 that so um, you don't lo lose it you can see how these documents are beginning to actually add up into uh, file size but let's look at the export now so if we want to export this as a PDF and in a specific order the first thing will be is to rearrange all the layers uh, on the layer palette here or the artboard palette as I should say uh, to uh, kind of go in there or uh, the order so the first thing I do basically just collapse the little hamburger so click onto that collapse all groups pretty much there then I've got to just put them in order so as you can see here we've got the different ones doing the different things and um, I obviously want the uh, the girl here to actually be later on so sh I need to actually have artboard 2 we can see the names then artboard 2 cop uh, copy so just drag that between the two then I want artboard 7 so that's going to be above artboard 2 copy 2 artboard 5 this at this stage you think oh, I should have renamed all these things shouldn't I to make it nice and e easy uh, but then once we're pretty much there we can see it's, it's in place two three four and then actually six so at the end they're now in order the way we want them to actually come about then just coming up into file going into export clicking into um, our artboards to, P, uh, to PDF now just before we go there I usually get into the hab habit of making sure I've selected all the artboard layers because there is some times where I don't want to actually select a specific artboard within the export of the PDF so it doesn't mean I've got to switch it off it just means I don't select it so back up to here with all the selected file export and then artboards to PDF give it its name and then making sure to uncheck the include overlapping areas making sure I've got artboard content openly uh, export selected artboards that's why we selected them all before uh, include the background in the export so if it was white or whatever it would be it's actually going to be there and uh, click on the reverse page or um, page ordering so obviously it, it becomes the very first one that we look at and then all we've got to do is go ahead and actually hit the run command it's going to take Photoshop um, a bit of time uh, depending on the size of your R artboard so not only the quantity of pay, uh, pages as I call the artboard uh, um, but it also the content within it uh, is tech it's technically you know flattening things adding a white background the color fill uh, flattening it and making a, a kind of an image uh, ready to actually convert it into the PDF itself and then eventually it's going to actually create itself the PDF once that's done we're going to get a little bit of a box that's going to pop up to tell us that we've been successful and when that's done we should then actually drag across into our um, files here you can see the new PDF is there we just double click onto that we'll drag that onto the screen here just zoom out a little bit so we can see it and now everything's in the correct place and we export it as a PDF ready to actually deliver to our clients um, in whatever way that we want to Hope you enjoy the film. Speak to you next time.
So if we want to export this as a PDF and in a specific order, the first thing will be is to rearrange all the layers uh, on the layer palette here or the artboard palette, as I should say, uh, to uh, kind of go in there or uh, the order. So the first thing I do basically just collapse the little hamburger. So click onto that, collapse all groups pretty much there. Then I've got to just put them in order. So as you can see here, we've got the different ones doing the different things. And um, I obviously want the uh, the girl here to actually be later on. So sh I need to actually have Artboard 2. We can see the names. Then Artboard 2 cop uh, copy. So just drag that between the two. Then I want Artboard 7. So that's going to be above Artboard 2 copy 2. Artboard 5. This At this stage you think, oh, I should have renamed all these things, shouldn't I, to make it nice and e easy. Uh, but then once we're pretty much there we can see it's, it's in place two three four and then actually six so at the end they're now in order the way we want them to actually come about then just coming up into file going into export clicking into um, our artboards to, P, uh, to PDF. Now, just before we go there, I usually get into the hab habit of making sure I've selected all the artboard layers because there is some times where I don't want to actually select a specific artboard within the export of the PDF. So it doesn't mean I've got to switch it off. It just means I don't select it. So back up to here with all the selected file, export, and then artboards to PDF give it its name and then making sure to uncheck the include overlapping areas making sure I've got artboard content only uh, export selected artboards that's why we selected them all before uh, include the background in the export so if it was white or whatever it would be it's actually going to be there and uh, click on the reverse page or um, page ordering so obviously it, it becomes the very first one that we look at and then all we've got to do is go ahead and actually hit the run command. It's going to take Photoshop um, a bit of time, uh, depending on the size of your R artboard. So not only the quantity of pay, uh, pages, as I call the artboard, uh, um, but also the content within it. Uh, it's, tech, it's technically, you know, flattening things, adding a white background, the color fill, uh, flattening it and making a, a kind of an image uh, ready to actually convert it into the PDF itself. And then eventually it's going to actually create itself the PDF. Once that's done, we're going to get a little bit of a box that's going to pop up to tell us that we've been successful. And when that's done, we should then actually drag across into our um, files here. You can see the new PDF is there. We just double click onto that. We'll drag that onto the screen here. Just zoom out a little bit so we can see it. And now everything's in the correct place. And we export it as a PDF ready to actually deliver to our clients um, in whatever way that we want to. Hope you enjoy the film. Speak to you next time.